The NFL season is back and underway, and the action is always heating up on the field at the DraftKings Sportsbook. But the big bet this time around, touchdowns. And touchdowns matter more at the DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the NFL. All new customers, now is your chance to get in all the football action. New customers bet just 5 bucks to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. So score big with DraftKings Sportsbook, the number one place to bet touchdowns. Download the app today and use code CLUB520. That's right, code CLUB520 for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. All the on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Subscribe to our YouTube, CLUB520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of CLUB520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me to my left. My dog, Bishop B. Hen out the pearlies. How you what, Nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. Another one. Another one. Right, you see my boy got the hosting bag now off the, off the forces. They just give anybody a job these days. <laughs> what what does the good king say? What Martin Luther King say? Hard work pays off. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, get, don't stand in the back of the bus, go to the front. <laughs> I don't know what he said. He lied to us. Pretty much lied to us, but it's all good. <laughs> Martin dude used to live his raps. No, yeah, he, he told him to get an Uber. <laughs> he told him he dated a woman. Never mind. Yeah, Never mind. Martin was acting like Dr. Umar for all them years. And nigga, he was slicing the dice on that white woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. Allegedly, no one, no allegedly. No what do I, Doctor Oom? Coretta, Coretta confirmed. I watched some. <laughs> oh, Coretta confirmed. Uh, she messy. <laughs> she messy. Uh, no, hey, everybody, <laughs> let it. This is jokes. Everybody, <laughs> let it. I forgot. I, I lived in Atlanta. <laughs> Listen, I love Doctor King. Shout out to the Hawks. I don't know why I said that, but shout out to the King Museum. <laughs> yeah. I've been little... there too. Shout out to that. <laughs> you went there too. I've been to Memphis and went to there. So, you know, so I'll tell all the civil rights leaders. Speaking of civil <laughs> rights, to my right. Station. That's crazy. <laughs> to my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. How you what, man? I'm good, bro. I'm glad we can start the show. I my shit pulled I up now. To come back and smack the shit out of Shanice if she told on me. <laughs> you a honor? You take that to the grave with you. <laughs> you gonna honor? She made a movie about it. Yeah, I don't pocket, <laughs> I don't, I don't bro. Out of wiretaps. <laughs> Talking to the talking to the work. I mean, now nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Wait, you said Martin Luther King, the real Tyrese? <laughs> I said Which Martin Tyrese? King was nothing. Gibson. <laughs> uh, I thought you was talking Martin about Luther King was Jody. <laughs> I thought you was saying. I thought you was talking about Hollabird with the white girl. Oh, I thought nah. you. I was like, that's a, that's a bar. <laughs> okay. Hell no. Nah. Oh man, I love when we record late. <laughs> hey man, uh, shout Mike out. laughed. He didn't want to laugh though. <laughs> He ain't got no camera today. <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> he cheated today. He getting his bullshit off in public today. I mean, in secret. Um, shout out to the NFL, man. Um, Tom Brady being an owner of the Raiders is crazy. Um, mm-hmm. Also, it's fire because it means he gets to do absolutely less work in his current job. But he gets paid a whole lot of money for it and gets on the team. That shit fire. No, that's tough, bro. I wonder how much money you got to have to, you know, own a team. Um, they said he put up about... Forty million to be a part of it. Yeah, ten percent, right, or somewhere around that area. Yeah. Damn, that's tough. Well, also, like we said, I'm sure there was a little bit of a tax on it, like the Tom Brady tax. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sure that price is a little bit different for somebody else, but that's because it's you, pivot. sure, we're gonna make it affordable. Yeah, yeah that's a great pivot after you had right. the type of career he had. Facts. Step into ownership. I think that's what Brian gonna try to do. I couldn't imagine having forty million to give to somebody. Oh, he had that. That was like he didn't have to check his account for that. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Dreams. No, nah, for sure. Life but you, you wouldn't do it if you had that opportunity. Like, if you had a Tom Brady career, you wouldn't want to transition to ownership. Uh, for sure. I would have gave – I hit the lottery for $500 million or something. I'm giving $100 million to the Hawks. I want to be part of it. Damn, that'd be Easy. Fine. Like, I want to be part of this. But, damn, for him to do that, that's dope. Yeah, that's hard, bro. Yeah, dope. Yeah, it's crazy. And they was comparing him. They was like, damn, like, the golden football on the team. But then, you know what I'm saying, MJ had the Wizards. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying, hopefully he don't draft like him. Cause yeah, he had good draft picks. We picked Juan Kwame. Dixon. Shout out to Juan Dixon. Damn, he did. Juan Dixon, Kwame Brown, over two. Jared Jeffries. I don't know if he drafted. Jared Jeffries had a hell of a uh, career. I might yeah. be wrong, but I think my boy Rip Hamilton went to the Wizards first. Did he draft him? That might be true. He might. He, I mean, he played for the Wizards for sure. Yeah, he yeah. played. I don't remember him playing nowhere else before that. We I can that, fact check it, but I think I don't that's one that. of his first draft picks. And if that's so, Jordan was off to a good start. Oh yeah, shout out to Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton won the Dakota's two guards. They don't get a lot of credit. 
but nah, he leave yeah. it range. Rip Hamilton, he really played in a face mask the rest of his career. That shit hard. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> he was healed and just kept moving in there. Was Rip, Rip still playing the league when you got there, wasn't it? Yep, he played with my little brother, man, in Chicago. He gave him a big ass watch, big dumb ass yeah. uh, old school watch. Damn. I said, nigga, that was his last watch in this collection, <laughs> nigga. He gave you. He gave him a Movado. Man, nigga, <laughs> diamonds falling off that bitch, everything. Mook rocking that bitch too big. I said, dude, you got to head to the jeweler and get that bitch sized up. That was the after party watch yeah, after the championship. Like, that's the one that was at Diddy House. <laughs> oh. We ain't going to do that to Rip. Rip I'm one there. That was I the fuck. baby oil watch. This part gets locked up. I fuck with Rip, man. He be, at the, he, he be liking some comments and shit sometimes. That's Rip Hamilton, man. Hey, I, I ain't going to lie. He was solid. Like, in the game, bro, he'd be talking to you. He was cool as hell. Like, I fuck with Rip. And he always kept some heat, too. Oh, his feet game yeah. is crazy. Always kept some heat. Oh, he a Jordan athlete, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. feet game crazy. Oh, he had the... He, Rip used to hoop in the butt naked, bro. <laughs> what? What's them shoes I like? Is it 17, 16? The 16. The 16s. He, Rip used to hoop in the blue butt naked. Oh, yeah, take the... Uh, you called them the yeah. butt naked and then... But he used to... <laughs> only thing I used to hate about Rip, um, he used to wear ankle socks. Ah. Uh, damn. Yeah, I used to be like, damn, he just pulled the socks up a little bit. He, he'd be top 10 for me. What's worse, ankle socks or no shows? No shows. Mo Evans, no shows. Weak. <laughs> yeah, because they just go on to the back of your heel, don't they? Mm-hmm. He used to flip his socks under like little kid. Yeah, my foot too fat for them. I need to all the way pull up joints. <laughs> I used to wear no shows when I was <laughs> I little, like, though. I ain't never done that. No, no, no shows is disgusting. Not hooping, but like, y'all ain't never. When I was little. Oh, that yeah. Was the time. Nah, yeah, my mama that, get mad at me walking around the house weird. and them. <laughs> when I, I used to wear my socks low like that when I was wearing no shows is like wearing like the bitches used to wear the balls on the back on, <laughs> on, the, the, on the socks the, the colorful mm, balls on the K Swiss yeah bro y'all out of pocket for wearing no shows bro right no yeah that is a vicious sock bro it's one thing to wear them in public you really out of pocket but to go play in a professional NBA game and no shows is crazy he definitely did That's why. Uh, get you some mid lengths bro cruise bro crew That's- socks only bro. He definitely did. <laughs> Only OGs can get away with Air Forces and, and, and goddamn ankle socks in the summer, bro. I'm on that wave now. I'm OG. Right. <laughs> that's, that's a nasty wave to be a part do of. that, bro. I mean, I'm old now. You're not wearing the all-white was had in this, bro, with some, with some ankles, bro. I don't wear Forces in the summer anyway. I only wear them with uh, pants. I don't wear them with shorts. But I'm saying either either way, you don't need to be having on no ankle socks, bro. <laughs> when y'all say ankle, I'm talking about like the quarter socks. Nigga, he wears ankle When niggas, oh, when say, niggas get to start I'm asking questions, you should, you should see his fit. I'm, I'm wearing <laughs> <laughs> they start feeling guilty. You should see him in, you should no. see him in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the little no, We got a running joke, though. So I'm the cheapest nigga on the podcast, right? Yeah, I would say I'm probably the cheapest nigga. Me. We, me and you are like in a okay. running debate. Nah. Because I wore my same Balenciaga shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bought a Balenciaga shirt, guys, for, what was it, six, $700? Mm-hmm. And I told them, everywhere we go, this shirt is going to be worn until I feel like I got six, $700 worth of it. Now, you wore that bitch on every stop. Every fucking trip, I had that Balenciaga shirt. And they like, <laughs> every strange. time I pull it out, <laughs> take that bitch to the cleaner, <laughs> that will pack that motherfucker right back up. Uh, you gonna put it in the Raptors? Yeah, I, I, I retired it now. Uh, P my. retired it for me. She said, I see this motherfucking shirt. So Mike was, was wild in Vegas, though. He had on them. Y'all Lulu made him buy them uh, Bobby Lulu. Valentino pants. Lulu Lemons. <laughs> it was a pants Bobby Valentino had on when he was running out that room. <laughs> Who he was running from, man? Who he was running from? Little Scotty. <laughs> Who he was running from? Little Scotty. Little Scotty with the wig. I thought you was gonna say, never mind. They be watching the show. Aren't you? I'm turned up today because I was uh, late. I was late to work, y'all. Yeah, so that's what everybody has had some of this podcast. The niggas that want to retire, like I left my black force in Vegas. Like they they stayed there with that unopened bottle of XO. <laughs> oh wow! They had my nigga DJ drinking Jose Quavo in Vegas. Who? <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Shout out oh. to Tricky Nick. <laughs> Nick, that's Nick. That's Nick doing. Yeah. That's Neo, young Neo. That nigga look good. Neo. <laughs> that nigga look like Neo. That nigga took that hat off. I said, what the fuck? You bald, man? What the fuck? It was like it stopped in your heart. Yeah. Like, Damn, Neo bald. Nah, bro. That Nick look like Terrell Brandon, bro. <laughs> he do. Oh, my mama, he do. Vegas showed me the real Nick, bro. I was like, nigga, 
<laughs> you took your hat off, bro. You look. You got the okay, Neo. <laughs> Stop the yard. Had some waves under that motherfucker. <laughs> you say he had fish you? Yeah. Stop the yard. Damn. Most niggas that wear their hair, hair like they had balled up, you could tell though that they balled. I don't know how you didn't notice that, bro. I wasn't paying no attention to that nigga. I just knew he was strong. I'm like, hey, this nigga <laughs> strong ass cameraman. Shout yeah. out to Tricky Nick, man. That's funny as hell. I fuck with Nick though. We was in there turn with Nick. For sure. Hey, uh, speaking of Vegas, um, it's going to be crazy because at one point, Tom Brady going to have ownership in the Raiders and LeBron going to have an NBA team there. Yeah, it's going to be pretty dope. That's, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be pretty dope. I'll probably move to Vegas about that time. Are you going to lock in? Yeah, me and Brian, we got we got something brewing, y'all. Okay. How I'm long y'all think it'll take for an NBA team in <laughs> you Vegas? Said, you talk about? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm manifesting right now. Boy. <laughs> they just kill me when they want to manifest. <laughs> Wait till we talk about Bronny later in the show. We'll see if he's going to sign you. Uh, Bronny, he's the most lit 55th pick ever. <laughs> What are we oh, talking about? Oh, oh Lord. Yeah, glazing is crazy. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> what you were saying, brother? <laughs> nah, I just I was about to ask you how long y'all think it'll take for an NBA team to really kind of do well out there in Vegas. Um, expansion? Yeah. yeah. They said 2027. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. They said it's going to have an expansion team 2027. Yep. Okay. And I don't know how, if it happens with this one or if it's down the line, but bro, Seattle needs a team again. I think it's going to be Seattle yeah. before Vegas, though, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, they just did an yeah. exhibition game there. Yep. Yeah. Great, great crowd. The city, it's a great city. I've been to Seattle a couple of times. It's a great city. Yeah, They're a real basketball city. Basketball yeah. city. Legends that played out of there. That's going to be I like Vegas more mm -hmm. for a basketball team. For me personally. Fact. Move Memphis and, yeah, you move Memphis and New Orleans. Nah, y'all ain't been to Memphis when can't move Memphis. To the Eastern Conference? Oh, you can move them to the. I thought you meant like leave Memphis. Oh, hell no! I was no, about no, no. to say they <laughs> fan base is real, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Nigga, they used to <laughs> they used to play whoop that trick, bro. Whoop that trick! The whole crowd will be singing that shit. Shit, used to be. I'd be on Zebo the bench. years. Yeah, I would be on the bench crying, nigga. Damn. The whole crowd whoop that trick. Seeing white people whoop sing that, that is funny trick. as hell. I swear to God, everybody in the whole sense, and I just be sitting there. It's a vibe when you play in Memphis. I swear to God, hotel ain't shit. Keep it a being with you. Ho yeah. Worst hotel in the league. Them in um, Oklahoma City. Hotels are mm. trash. But the play in Memphis, nah, it's a vibe. Like right. the crowd is great. They food. They got bomb ass food there. Yeah. The hotel is just shitty. And Bill Street right by the arena. <laughs> yeah, food fire though. I ain't gonna lie. Memphis got some heat food. You was playing when they had the real like the real Griffiths team. They had yeah, OJ. They grind. had Mike Zebo. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Marcus saw they had a whip. I had T. A. a it was, was Rudy Gay there. Yep, I played yeah, when Rudy up. was there. I was I played when Rudy was there. That was Rudy Gay first eighty million dollar deal right there. Yep, I played when he was there. He was killing. OJ averaged twenty that year. Eighteen, I mean. That was yeah. rookie year, right? They got super good when they traded. I, I fuck with just but when they traded OJ. Oh, bro, it was up. <laughs> yeah. Cause Zebo wasn't there. He was there with OJ, but like when Zebo became like when OJ left and Zebo became like mm -hmm. the, the guy on the, the team, focal, like yeah, 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 the focal point. It was a tough outing, bro. That was a tough front lie. court with him. He used and Mark. to have boy. So I I hopefully Zebo come on the show, boy. He'd be forty deep and that one <laughs> strong. Oh yeah, right, we know I how he was. Know yeah, how he moved, I used bro. to be like, yeah, Indiana legend. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Memphis is damn near the career for the career, him. For yeah. sure. Hey, also, he got one of the most underrated um, MTV Cribs episodes. Zebo MTV Cribs episode, <laughs> fire. Yeah, pull ta hey, <laughs> the pool Zebo, table. I'm going to keep you a minute. Your pool table is crazy. <laughs> if you know, you know. Or if you know, you know. Your pool table, that's a funny, <laughs> that's a legendary pool table. Yeah, when Zebo come on, we got to talk about the cell phone. What cell phone? He still got it, bro. The, the little flip cell phone? phone, the flip phone picture that went out, bro. That they made the thing. You didn't see that? Bro, he, had a, he had a flip phone in like 2018. Oh, uh, he's still trapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man. <laughs> damn, what are we talking about? He, nah, my boy, he's still, he's still cooking. He's still cooking. Shout out to Zebo, bro. Uh, not, not cooking. Like, oh, I should have worked. My nigga's still working. Like, I don't away, know. Let's get away from him, bro. Yeah, 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 he just had a, a random ass flip phone when goddamn touch phones was out. <laughs> Heavy. He's he just pulled that bitch out. If you know, you know. Yeah. Um, Devontae Adams back with Aaron Rodgers is crazy. Uh, Aaron Rodgers flexed on niggas again. Um, they were like, we're not moving him for less than the second round pick, basically, and they definitely moved him for a third with some conditions attached to it, basically. But um, that's crazy that he is a Jet. I don't even, I don't even know if I could say congratulations because I don't know if he went to a better team or not. He didn't. He didn't, bro. He but just he wanted to go wrong. play with the guys. 
he he honestly just want to get his receiving <clears throat> yards and looks and touches so he can keep trying to build on his resume. Yeah. Because they're not about to win shit. Oh, no. No, no, no. Especially what just happened to them. They ain't firing yeah, coach, yeah, bro. Y'all not, not in a position shit. to. Nah. But yeah. it would be funny if he went out there and fucking kill. He going to kill. Him and Aaron Rodgers going to be playing catch. That's going to be They going to start running they, all their old shit from <laughs> Green Bay. Fuck the coaches. <laughs> like, we're running that one shit we used to run in Green Bay. And it's funny because we used to talk about him on Pat McAfee's show. You know what I'm saying? And he popped right back up on there. <laughs> Look who I got. <laughs> they was on Twitter talking about just, <laughs> he stayed at night in his house and I shit. I just don't like how he get your ass. Like, I ain't like that. Like, nah. He supposed to be like, I got a special guest. You know, something. He just told a nigga. I ain't like that. <laughs> he be, he be on there with nigga, everybody. That's how I do my... Never mind. Oh, <laughs> respect, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but for real though, like, you don't do that. If if we all if we all face out, I did you like this? Come here, man. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, like man, I've been like, I got my nigga be here with me. Like, uh, yeah, introduce me. Don't don't do that. Yeah, don't don't nigga, little boy me. I had to say it. I'm I, I say feel what y'all saying though. If it's like that, then yeah, it's fucked up. How about Angel Reese though? Angel. Doing her thing. Um, what yeah. thing she doing? What she went she live doing? and basically was talking about uh. You know, like shit, she was just, I guess she was just on live, and she was like, shit, I don't even know what my salary is. Her and her friend talk, she like, shit, my, my rent 8K a month. She pays 8K a month. Where do you live in Chicago that's $8,000 a month? She's out of pocket. If yeah. she lives in Chicago. I'm about to call her. You can't be paying 8K a month. Yeah, because she was like, she was like, I don't even know what my salary is. Her friend was like, oh, you make like 70000 She was like, oh, I can't even pay one bill with that. I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. For real, but I mean, live your life, queen. Like, go crazy. But I don't shit on yo. You know how much you make from the WBA. Yeah, like don't nah, shit, do shit on it. Please do. It's only seventy three thousand. Shit on it. But you know how much money you make. Uh, she's definitely making yeah. way more off the court. Oh, oh, yeah, but sure, it's, sure. it's obvious, bro. And no offense, but like somebody should tell her like eight K is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be one to tell you. My dumb ass was doing that in Minnesota. That is not the move. How much did you pay in Minnesota? For? 8K. Damn, were you at uh, D Rose's at? So I can't imagine what he was paying. <laughs> so she damn. literally can't pay her mortgage though. Or her yeah, mortgage. but it's like I was paying 8K and that was just the dumbest shit ever. I wish I would have been paying like 2500 Cause Especially what you lived in. Yeah, yeah and Oh, my shit was hard. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought, but no, I thought that was where you had the small joint. Oh, that was Milwaukee. That was oh, I was paying. I, I, was paying I learned I was paying eight hundred. Oh, okay. not eight k, eight hundred. Okay, my nigga, my nigga was on. He was on ten in yeah. Milwaukee. <laughs> But in Minnesota, my shit was fire. It was lit, but oh, okay. it was awesome. like for what? It was me. Also, I was paying eight k for what? That's privileged because nowhere else in America can you make less than how much your rent is a year and still get approved. <laughs> <laughs> when they look at her pay stubs, you need at least three times nowadays. She likes less than one. That's crazy. I mean, obviously she got endorsement money, so she can afford it. But that's funny as hell. Yeah, that's fact. Eight thousand, boy. That <clears> motherfucker better be a vibe. Yeah, but you ain't. I don't even know her life, so I'm not speaking. But I'm assuming you're not in Chicago like that. Yeah, because you're only there probably four months. Five, you're only so. there for three or four months. You only played 14 games. <laughs> so yeah. I'm imagine she probably going. And I heard it's a league in Miami. Am I wrong? Yeah, they starting to open. On Rob, yeah, we going to. So I'm pretty sure she's going to be living somewhere else soon. So I, I mean, she might be just renting it for three months, four months, which is cool. But if she's renting it for the year, yeah. I would tell her probably to come on down <clears> to that 2500 Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Something a little more respectful. Um, I think the thing that's funny about it, because I think she came out and said that because everybody is seeing her moving around. A lot of people saying she's too mixy, basically saying she's like, I, this is how I live. My endorsement money, the other things I do off the course, how I get paid, which is one, a thousand percent true. Yeah. But kind of move with a little better tact right now, because that interview with her and Kayla Nicole, and shout out to Kayla Nicole, supporter of the show. No, um, not a fan. That 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 conversation not is not a good look. When what? she said, I won't go 50-50, I was like, Kayla Nicole said that. I, she I, watched I, this shit. Yeah. She watched this. Yeah, you out of pocket. Yeah, you she's out of pocket. Can't go 50-50 with her. Oh. But listen, <laughs> I, I get what you're saying, because most men probably gonna take care of the bills. Yeah. But you can't say that. Like, let us do that. Like if That's all I be saying. Bro. Before I meet you and you tell me I ain't going 50, I never nigga, I go down bad, I lose everything, shit fucked up. In my mind, I already know. Damn, it's over. She gone. That's 100%, bro. I'm nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
That's all I be saying. Just let shit. me find Don't, that out before, like, get, on my own. I better like, get to know the motherfucker. Y'all yeah. keep meeting motherfuckers on eHarmony <laughs> and getting married the next day. God damn it. You know, put a motherfucker. K. Michelle, what's her name? But, I, but now I respect <laughs> Connor K. Michelle. That's crazy. I see it. I've been watching back. Shout out to Honcho. K. Razor, man. No, Honcho, <laughs> fuck with Keisha Cole. No. Nah. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. I'm out of pocket. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Honcho, get on your ass. I'm so big and motherfucker. That nigga six eight, my man. That nigga six eight two fifty five. That nigga pick your little ass. Drop DJ on this biscuit. Hey, look, since Ron Tim can hear me, try to get him lined up. Nah, but for real though, don't tell, don't tell a man that you ain't going fifty fifty. Nah, you gotta let him find that out. Yeah. Oh God. Don't tell me. A before. lot of shit ain't supposed to be said while we yeah, dating in yeah, the beginning, bro. bro. Like, you don't want to hear that the first date, but you can't say that. You think I put, I look like I go fifty fifty, and you dated Travis Kelsey, and now he dates a billionaire. Yeah, that just don't look right. You lost. Oh, you definitely lost that. Yeah, like That's tough. he didn't lose, you lost. He went full back to it too. Nigga got a half mustache. He <laughs> cut the Finn. gold teeth. <laughs> <laughs> nigga yeah, started looking nigga, like Garth Brooks. Brooks <laughs> nigga. Oh God, Robin Thicke to Garth Brooks. Nigga. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> God nigga, Robin Thicke. <laughs> for real, with the Garth Brooks, nigga. <laughs> oh, they went from asking did he invent the fades and now he oh, got God. the mustache. I said, T.K. definitely listen to nineties R and B. Man, what? <laughs> he was with her. Yeah, oh God, that nigga don't listen to that. nothing R and B. That nigga, he doing the whole that nigga damn. got my pickup truck. That nigga had a bend to my pickup. <laughs> that nigga living, he living nice. He couldn't wait to get them off road tires. <laughs> nigga, that nigga went straight back, boy. Yeah. That is funny. So she had my nigga in a coup. Cool. He ain't touched that. He shit. started hanging with his brother again. That nigga ain't want to fuck with his brother at first. That nigga went hey, that's first. <laughs> I think he's fucking with his brother again. Nah, you but can I, bring her around. That's some real shit though, because I think most men think about that though. Like, damn, if I do mm. get down bad, can my yeah. lady take you know can take over the field yeah, until I get like back right? Because right. I feel like women put a uh, when a dude lose a job, I feel like a woman put a time limit on it. You oh. on a ticking time bomb? Probably. But I think you on like a three month run. Shit, you um, say three? Mm-hmm. That's why I married who I married. Fuck, tell me I'm on the timeline shit. I'm just going to be single. But see, that's some shit that ain't ain't said, though. And I ain't saying Pete on that. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just saying I think women just be like, whew. Bitch, nah, nigga, we had that conversation. This nigga still ain't got no job. I'm talking <laughs> about when they talk to their friends. I'm they saying, like, I, I, I had that conversation. Yeah, so what but about if I lose everything? Because you still fuck with me. She said, I don't need you. <laughs> that's a vibe. I, I fuck with that. Nah. Yeah, I, I don't need you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Shout out to PTZ so, for sure. I, I said, what if I had to work for your company? <laughs> I, I put some motherfucker. I started nailing some shit together. <laughs> I get the studio right. You gotta speak Spanish, bro. Sorry, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now he got some bullshit. Yeah, listen. Because you be talking about it, you boy, bro. I be trying to talk to him, but they don't understand me. So I'm like, you gotta Why he always bring my personal <laughs> shit up, bro? What he on, bro? I ain't say nothing about his family, bro. <laughs> just saying, Mike, bro. What we doing, bro? <laughs> hey, all I asked him was to bring the rug downstairs. I didn't know what to say, bro. But he, um, <laughs> he said they I kept pointing up wife, and down. Bro. Which I way? I see his wife every day. I don't say nothing, bro. I see his wife every day. I don't say nothing, bro. I just wave. Now he make a joke. Right, I know what I'm talking about, P. I'm talking about the people that you said working for her. I see your wife every day. Her employees, bro. I be coming to the school and like, what? Her employees, bro. Like you, bro. Jeff was like, nigga was trying to take the rug down. He kept doing Jeff like this. He like down. No, he wasn't. Downstairs. <laughs> no, he wasn't, bro. I can say, I can say downstairs is finished, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> you wanted me to say it. Mike take the under. <laughs> oh, God. Mike out of pocket. This is brought to you by Trap Keys. <laughs> I swear to God. Pete, get on this nigga ass, man. <laughs> P, I'm telling you, cause no, I, be just, I just wear that shit every time at school. What's but it's on? not about P, bro. I'm just saying you. Tra- I transitioned that because you said you want to work for a company. Just in case shit got bad. I don't want to work for a company. I said I would. But, but, uh, shout out to them, man. You got to kick it with the gang. I do kick it with them. You can't be on there just shaking your head like I do. <laughs> they, they, they know hands. So you say it's a 90 day rule. 90 day, that's 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 your shot clock. <laughs> no, nah, I really do feel like that. Women have a time. We got more of a grace as men. We kind of like, damn, you lost your job. It's cool. We don't even give a fuck, honestly. If you lose your job, we don't really give a fuck. We'd be like, damn. Anyway. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like these bills gonna get paid regardless. Yeah, but 100. it's cool if you got your shit. But whatever. it just and it depends on what type of work your lady do though. Because if she lost a good job that she been working at for ten years. You gonna have to treat that different more so the girl just got fired from AT and T. No, no disrespect. I just went to AT and T. No disrespect. No, I'm just saying. Though. Actually, I did. I was at Xfinity. My fault. I don't know why. I said I'm just AT&T. saying though. It ain't no disrespect fact, to nobody fuck, that work AT and T. Xfinity. I, man, you got a problem. I I will work with y'all. But listen, there you go. Work with <laughs> me. <laughs> work with me. You didn't get that modem, did you? I did. Oh, okay. And that wasn't even my fucking problem. I got a deeper problem. I got. A, it's from the roots. I don't know where this motherfucking problem at. I got the modem, put it together. You know what, Xfinity? Y'all need to talk to me. We got a platform. I can make jokes about y'all. Or y'all can fuck with me. <laughs> is you is or is you yeah. ain't? <laughs> so Xfinity. Who does nigga think he is making like threats to him? <laughs> <laughs> they, they go, 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 they I was just talking shit, but I would love to work with y'all, but for real. Lock I've been trying to play 2K for three yeah, days. Yeah, I ain't mad about them two Detroit movies, man. Yeah, I, I <laughs> was trying to watch, I've been trying to watch some shit. Can't play watch 2K, Plug Love. And my internet been out for three days. Plug Love 2 is fire, too. <laughs> but anyway. x tap in, man. Teague is going through it at the crib, man. You can't Facts. get the streaming money. Please fuck with me. Hey, man. Uh, Bronny, this is your time. You trying to sign to the uh, James family? You know what I'm saying? Recovering man's health. Oh, <laughs> he was on the cover of Men's Health. He was on the cover. I knew that. See, that's <laughs> that's out of pocket. <laughs> Why? Why is uh, out of pocket? Nah, because, no, bro. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. And I'm not saying nothing about Bronny because, bro, run it up, bro. You facts. Like these people owe us so much money, bro. Tap in. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, as as that as we looking at that, that's like they gave the Jenner dude Man of the Year. <laughs> When he turned a new leaf. Woman of the year. Woman of the year. Woman, yeah, of, the year. woman of the year. My bad. Well, he went back, right? No, you can't go back. I can't keep up. He oh, got, he yeah, got, at one point he went back. He got titties, bro. He can't go back. <laughs> right. So now just stay over there. <laughs> yeah. But you can't. That's Spend disrespect. <laughs> that's disrespecting our our women, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So He's I just don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's a vibe for real. Like, that's like a girl getting on Ozempic and saying, Hey y'all, lose weight the right way. Hit the gym. Do all this shit. Like, oh, that's that. Instagram. Fat Joe just said he was on Olympic. Don't do that. Excuse uh, me, what? He said it was for diabetes. So, damn. <laughs> I mean, it really, it's that's a real what thing. It's for. Yeah, it's real. Oh, Olympic. Is... We ain't seen Boosie with it. What the fuck? I got about four out. family members built like Rosabusha. <laughs> How much is Olympic? <laughs> I'm about to start getting some new money. So, <laughs> <laughs> you that's can't a, just go buy it at CVS. That's a Christmas gift. God damn it! What was Olympic? <laughs> What's that? A shot? What is, is it? A shot? Is it? Is it liquid? Is it? Yeah, they say it's a needle, man. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you just needle? can't pour it up. It's yeah, it's a needle, man. Yeah, we gotta tap in. I gotta start five heartbeat motherfuckers <laughs> in the family, bro. <laughs> I got about four right now. This is stupid. <laughs> man. My cousin got diabetes, big as fuck, and you know when you got diabetes, they tell you, nigga, no catfish, no fried <laughs> foods, chill. <laughs> So if all they got to do is take the Zimbic, shit. Just let the fish fry continue. <laughs> <laughs> you don't kill this nigga. <laughs> man, cool, Hell, man. No. That's crazy. Shout out to Bronny, man. Nah, get well soon, though, Bronny. What y'all think about the year he's going to have? He's starting off slow. He's playing game one. He's I playing hope, game one. I hope he plays. But JJ, throw him in. It's pretty quiet. The year he's going to have, yeah, I'm taking the under. Yeah. Give a real coaches, like... What he can do to be successful, he can go in there and guard. He probably played two minutes, of, two minutes a half. He gonna get in there guard at the end of a quarter and play hard. But what he gonna contribute to the team? Probably not much this year. Yeah, okay. and like, <clears throat> you could tell. Like he said, like last game, shot one for nine. He nervous as hell out here. He got yeah, a hell of yeah. expectations. Like you get what we're talking about for the fifty fifth pick, bro. That's a lot of expectation. We know you, Bronny James. Everybody feel how they feel about how you got to the league. Don't fucking matter because you're there now. Run that shit up. But, yeah, he got a lot of pressure. I think if he gets a little bit more comfortable, he could probably be able to contribute. I don't know how much, but it'd probably be better than this. Now, he a nervous wreck, man. Yeah, I mean. I'm rooting for you, Nasty. And he's still a kid, too. A lot of people are forgetting that, too. Get healthy, man. Get well. What y'all think about the back-to-backs that uh, Joel and Paul George said they're not doing it? Is that hurting the team or helping the team? Paul George said he's not doing it, too? Yeah, both of them. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's, well, they're not gonna be on any all NBA teams. Did Paul George actually announce it? I think they said one of the coaches said he's probably not gonna do it either. But 
I don't think PG announced it, but if that's what the team is on, I say that's what they on. I don't think he like I said, they not top four in the East, so don't worry about it. They, I don't think this is a year they can afford to slack off. I Why mean, not, not to say I got, I got, I got the max deal. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know how I rock. <laughs> I got three years something, and I, I retired <laughs> as soon as I signed. <laughs> Pretty much was done. Like, well, that's it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Pretty much solidified my life. <laughs> Retirement. <laughs> Pretty much okay now. <laughs> nah, but, what y'all think that's gonna do for them though? Is it gonna I think hurt it's gonna them? hurt them. It's gonna hurt because they gonna need a record this year. The East is, is good. You gonna need yeah. the, them deferentials is gonna hurt. I mean, I they got some guys that we can replace that might help though. They got Andre Drummond, they got Kelly Uber, they got Eric Gore, Martin too. Yeah, Martin. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Caleb Martin's a big pickup. So yeah, yeah. I think they sure. still smooth out East. East is yeah. wicked this year for I sure. Think, but I think them having them back to give them a chance to still yeah. get some of them wins on that back to back that you wouldn't think you could get for sure. And yeah. most importantly, like you said, all right, record cool. One or two games ain't worth nobody health. We need postseason. That's we really what we need. This team is, has Eastern Conference Finals championship aspirations. So facts. Yeah, they gotta they gotta have. Will that up. happen? To be the time. Oh, about guess. matchups because it could get spooky. I think they match up well with certain teams and the other teams. I don't think, I think they, they match up great with the Celtics. To be honest, they match up great with the Celtics. I Joel and B is the X factor because nobody on their team can fuck with Joel and B. But it depends how Joel and B gonna play and it depends on health. But they deep. I'm still taking the Celtics. Yeah, I'm still taking the Celtics, but I think, like you said, matchup wise, I wouldn't That's be surprised good. if niggas is beat them throughout the season. Yeah, facts. I can see Philly beat New York. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I, I can New see York Philly beat New York. Ain't got no big man. Who the fuck gonna go and Joel and beat? Cat, nobody. Oh, 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 my you fault. Know, no Cat. disrespect to my nigga Cat. Cat, you know how yeah, Cat I, I there, fuck bro. with the boss, but Cat be fouling. Cat can't guard Joel and beat by. <laughs> they gonna have to double team. I oh, mean, that's a he fact. just literally is too strong. Yeah, and that's not no knock to Cap. Nah, I mean, Joel Embiid like, is just a MVP he's every year, basically. Two, almost three hundred pounds, bro. It's just yeah, bro. He's a, that first five with the Celtics got a solid though, and it matches up. Yeah, if that, they click, bro, <clears throat> early. That's a scary team. Mm -hmm. And I think, like you said, bro, I think they're gonna end up getting another big. I think at some point, maybe mm -hmm. on a buyout situation, even if they wait that long, they're gonna end up getting another big. I wouldn't bro. be surprised if Rob Williams came back. That is a great fucking call. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. That's a if great I see call. Rob Williams come back. Yeah. I can see him trading for Rob Williams. He's on the market. Hell yeah. Detroit. I mean, uh, Portland not about to play him, so I can see him coming back to Boston. That'd be a great pickup for them. Of course, the delusional Lakers fans was thinking like Robert Williams would be there. That'd but. be great for them too, but Rob Williams might going back to the Boston. He's familiar with the system. He know all the guys. Seamless fit. And he's already on the trade market. And Boston seemed not to give a fuck about money. Yeah. They feel like they have paid whatever tax going on anyway. So, hey, that's got to be fire to win at, on a team who really don't give a fuck right now about cashing out. Yeah, because everybody got paid because of the team for sale anyway. So that fuck's don't give. That's yeah, somebody else debt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Shout out to my boy Divincenzo too. <clears throat> Stand no business at all times, nasty. Hey, yeah. beef with Tibbs, man. That's my nigga, man. I, but hold on, Tibbs, my nigga too. So I told him he can't give you disrespect to my nigga Tibbs. But <laughs> I called Dante after that. He funny as hell. <laughs> and it still stands, right? I'm on that. Nah, he wouldn't even. It wasn't even about that. He mm. just. It, it was really all love. He, he really joking. It's love, but it's funny. It's like he laughing. Like when I called him, he laughing. Yeah. He like, man, you stupid as hell. Don't talk about me on the podcast. I said, boy, you know I'm about to talk about you, boy. <laughs> that's what, that's, what, <laughs> that's about, what you did it for. <laughs> yeah, I said, what you think I called you for? I brought up the cameras. These are the real cameras. Yeah, like, <laughs> but nah. Shout out to Dante. He gonna have a good year there. He said he fucking with Minnesota. He said it's cool. Vibe is nice, but. Uh, he was like, no, nah, that was just all love. We just talking shit. We joking, really. That's good for the game, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, I mean, we said we had to see how it works, but I'm I'm starting to come around to the people <laughs> that are saying that that Julius Randle AE shit really gonna be crazy. I like I'm, it. I'm buying into it. I'm buying stock into that. I'm not. I'm buying stock into man. That. I like it. I bro. got they on play. They ain't played. I. That's why I I'm, I'm buying it now. Before I even, I even see, I'm, I I'm fuck with it on the floor, bro. I got, I need, I need five games. I tell you, I, we talk about it the five games. I can tell y'all what it's gonna look like for. Real. What's your biggest issue? Shooting. Okay. Hey, he can shoot. He he ain't a shooter. Yeah. He can make shots. Julius Randle not a shooter. He can make shots. Right. I got you. Cat was a shooter. That's my biggest issue. I but they brought I in a shooter. Don't take and shoot. But that pick and roll a little different when it's. AE and cat popping. Facts, you bro. Know what I mean, that's yeah. a fact. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. So that's now you still, and they still got Rudy <clears throat> Gobert. He not shooting shit. Yeah, so, so not a shot. if I'm a coach, we clogging that paint. I know we got three D three, but shit, I'm 
If Randall hitting threes, then it's a problem. But if he ain't hitting threes, he in the way damn near. Or yes, he might the clog way. the paint up, but I just think he played on the perimeter a lot out there in New York when he was healthy. Yeah, but he played with the ball. And you know what I mean? He need the pill. And for sure. He need that rock. Hey, he need the pill. Yeah, yeah. so I'm interested to see, though. It could work. I would like <clears throat> I would like to see Nas Reed and, and Julius Randle go crazy at the 4 and 5. Like, obviously, Rudy going to have that time, but to close games out, them too, because Nas Reed, versatility at the 5 with Cause them. Because you almost can play Randle at a 5, kind of. Mm-hmm. Now, nah, he's. Obviously, he's better than a he's a more versatile five, but and Nas Reed's very versatile. Nas can really shoot, mm-hmm. so they do that. Now we got a different dynamic for sure. But if it's Rudy Gobert, good luck. Damn, it's gonna be crazy. Hey man, your boy uh, Mark Cooper, man, on the move up in Buffalo. Mm. Josh Allen, <sighs> he better. They'll they be cool. He better than Stephon Diggs, so we straight. Oh, excuse me. What? He, Amari Cooper, him and Stephon Diggs neck and neck. I'm wild and I'm just playing. Oh, I, guess I, I fuck with Stephon Diggs because he fucking hoes, but. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Shit. Nah, it is what it is, bro. You ain't wearing them outfits just because. <laughs> <laughs> he, well, he my favorite receiver, but I'm just I'm just saying, like, I'm sure they production probably very similar. Uh, number two, Cole, bro. Amari Cole, but. Yeah, as a Cowboys fan, I always research for Amari. Yeah, yeah, but like him being in Cleveland. I fuck with Deshaun Watson. That was my favorite quarterback till recently. Like from Clemson to um, when he was in Texas, Houston. I was man, I, that was my guy. I know he's been struggling lately or whatever. You know our guy played for the Browns, DeJuan Jones. So we be watching the game. games and he been struggling. So Amari Cooper ain't really had no quarterback in a couple of years. So now to get with Josh Allen, shit, he might be back to his old ways. <clears throat> also, Cleveland's trying to shed money too. It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty apparent they trying to. Come off the books. Or some I mean, shit. They ain't got no choice. They gave all the money to a person. The big dog. He wanted to go for that. Nah, he was cold, but locked I, it in. Locked but it in, bro. Nigga, you was he was supposed to get that money. He was. Nah, he was, bro. But to, to beat what was up against him, bro, you a legend, bro. <laughs> That's different, bro. Like, to get the biggest contract bro. in NFL history after beating the allegations, I ain't gonna crazy. lie. No is one it, NFL if did he beat that, it's between him and Diddy. If Diddy beat what he got going on. Yeah, Diddy. Diddy would have to beat this and come back and make making the band to do what Deshaun Watson did. <laughs> Diddy beating this though, it's over, bro. Done, daughter. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna agree. It's over. Philip, I'm glad you bought them 25th anniversary Bad Boy reunion tickets, bro. When we went, bro, because it, it will be no more. They said you was in there yelling. What? <laughs> you like, let's go. <laughs> Like, damn, you yelling, let's go. Nah, Kim was up there. <laughs> oh, uh, so, which one? Yeah, one look like Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> she was up there. I had a flashback to the 92 with her with the motherfucking uh, uh, coochie root print. <laughs> so, however she looked on stage, I took it back. <laughs> <laughs> you, know why it back. you know why I love Lil' Kim? <laughs> She told me when I was little, she could make this disappear in her mouth. Whoa. You don't remember that? I ain't hear that I could make a Sprite can disappear in my mouth. Wow. Wow. Little Kim. (laughs) I wasn't even old enough, and I was just saying. (laughs) Ooh, to make the sword disappear is crazy. (laughs) (laughs) The mic just pulled them lyrics. Yeah, she go. She said it then. That's Ricky Mike for sure. I said. I ain't saying you lying, bro. I said I ain't heard that one. Mm, All right. Damn, Kim He's was hard. on the jump off. That yeah, was a jump off was one of my shit. Kim I used to, was a I used to literally love little Kim. Like I thought she was so fine. Like she was, bro. I thought she was like the shit. Like, if we could have had like original little Kim now, it would be over for a lot of female rappers. What I thought little Kim was the finest yeah. shit ever. Like man, oh my god, I, she had to be the first OG. Talking that type of shit. Oh, on God. The yeah, bro. She Facts. was, she was like, a pioneer in that, bro. MC, it, MC Light was not on that. She was <laughs> rapping like not. Common. Yeah, Salt and Pepper, they were scared of hoes. They was hip to hop to hip to the hip. Salt and Pepper was what a man, what a man, what a man. Oh, they was a group. Yeah, yeah they was wild. I'm talking about just though. the Dolly, like, yeah, what a man, look. what a man, what a mighty good man. That don't hit like that. Nah, bro. you got to listen to what they said in them songs, though. They was, yeah, they was wilding a little bit. But Lil' Kim was wild. Lil' Kim I used to was love, sexy red, bro. Yeah, I used to love Lil' Kim, <laughs> you know bro. Saying? Like, if I could have picked a girl when I was growing up, besides Sable, the wrestler chick, I was going to pick Lil' Kim. It was between them two? 
Yeah, little Kim. Cause you I had a dark I, life. I, I had a freaky life. I like the shit she was saying. And then you're like, Damn. Hey, Sable was hard. Choosing, <laughs> Sable choosing was, that type of rapper and a bitch who do, do body slams every day. Nigga, she who do body slams? She, was, she, she wasn't hard. body slamming. Nigga. She was doing Playboy, nigga. <laughs> That motherfucker was on Playboy. My nigga Mitchell is small. Man, wrap this shit up. We got, we got a guest, man. We got this shit. I'm about to tap into a therapist. Man, wrap this what shit was up. Y'all, bro, that's a wow. You're no category. <laughs> nah, Lil' Kim and Saber is elite. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Off the road. Shout out to the Vince McMahon doc on Netflix. Tap mm, in. He ain't even tap in right. He was supposed to tap in there, man. I take a minute yeah. or two to get this much. This big man was supposed to Travis Kelsey that one. He yeah. had well, that he Travis Kelsey too much. That's why he ended up in the allegations. <laughs> well, how that nigga just disappeared though? Why he ain't in jail? I don't know, bro. I just black. Being kind of black money, is tough, bro. bro. I'm just gonna say. Yeah, we can't disappear, bro. bro it's yeah. over. Vince McMahon. Well, we, just, when we disappear, we know he we got, got a new face and everything. Bro, bro he got a face BBL. That, yeah, nigga that shit is crazy. He looks Mexican bro. now. I didn't know. Even that nigga look like El Guardo. That nigga mustache is crazier than mine. Like, how he go from Caucasian to Mexican, bro? bro that shit is Vince wild. really to go. Like, bro, you don't even look the same, bro. Bro, look at Vince. Look bro. at him, bro. <laughs> that nigga took Eddie Guerrero life. Like he looks like that granddaddy off Dennis the Menace. That's Vince. <laughs> that's Vincent L. Vince McMahon. <laughs> Vincent L. McMahon. Bro, that nigga looks crazy. Oh man, that's nuts. Yeah, that's a, definitely a zoo events for <laughs> sure. Man, that nigga is out of pocket, bro. Be here and tell people they can grab some merch at man. Shopclub520.com, baby. Check out Club 520. 520 in the AM coming soon. <laughs>